From the moment its doors opened more than a century ago, the Lord and Taylor Building on Fifth Avenue in Manhattan has stood as a monument to old-school retail. Complete with a grand entrance arch and copper cornice, the 676,000-square-foot store is a temple of urban commerce and was named a New York City landmark a decade ago. But now, the forces buffeting the retail industry are diminishing Lord & Taylor's presence as a New York institution. The company that owns the department store chain, Hudson's Bay, said Tuesday that it was selling off the flagship store to Woolwork, a seven-year-old startup whose office-sharing model is helping to reinvent the concept of workspace. Lord & Taylor will rent out about a quarter of the building, where it will operate a pared-down department store. Woolwork will use the rest of the building for its global headquarters and to lease shared office space to its customers. The redesign is expected to come after Christmas of 2018. In selling its Italian Renaissance-style building to a Woolwork joint venture for $850 million, Lord and Taylor and Hudson's Bay are acknowledging that even the grand physical shopping spaces of old are now worth more as office space catering to millennials. The department store really is a dinosaur, said Mark A. Cohen, the director of retail studies at Columbia Business School. And its demise is ongoing. As Lord & Taylor struggles to find its footing in the e-commerce age, Woolwork is capitalizing on the needs of the new economy. The company is offering flexibility and informality to a generation that is increasingly untethered to traditional offices. It allows workers like entrepreneurs or graphic designers to choose the size and style of the space they prefer and to lease it for as long or short as they want. A motto on its website reads, Make a life, not just a living. Woolwork has expanded from two locations in New York City when it was founded in 2010 to more than 160 locations in 52 cities this year. It has pushed into increasingly prominent locations for its co-working spaces over the years, but nothing on the order of the Lord & Taylor building. Across the United States, retailers are rethinking the uses of their physical spaces as more shopping moves online. Many struggling malls have converted their stores into rock-climbing gyms, movie theaters and community colleges to try to attract customers. Other shopping centers stand mostly empty. Over the past year, Macy's has closed dozens of its department stores, though it has held on to its main property on 34th Street in Manhattan. And Hudson's Bay, whose roots lie in real estate development, is well known for its creative use of financial engineering tied to the property it owns. Still, selling off landmark properties comes with risks. Many old-line retailers have struggled to strike a balance between cashing out their valuable real estate holdings while retaining the historic buildings that define their brands. Despite the growth of e-commerce, the vast majority of shopping is still done in stores.